In this video, I'm going to talk about the sleep functions in C. So the sleep functions allow us to basically pause the execution of our program for some set period of time. And on a Unix system, I can get at them by including unistd.h. And what I'll do is I'll do a printf before, and I'll do a printf after, and then we can kind of pause our program in between these two printfs and just see how long it pauses for. So the way they work is pretty simple. You just say sleep, and then you can put in, say, like, four for four seconds. And if we compile this program here and now run it, we're going to see that it pauses for four seconds before we actually printf after. And we could increase the time or decrease the time. So we could say like eight seconds and then it'll pause for eight seconds. So we can run it now. And if we count it out, you know, one Mississippi, two Mississippi and on and on, we're going to find out that after eight seconds, it's going to print out after. And then we could try, you know, a smaller number next. So we could try like one and it'll sleep for one second. And so nothing too surprising here in terms of how it's behaving. It's going to sleep for this amount of seconds, basically, before it continues execution. Now there is a function that will accept not integers that, you know, represent a whole second of sleep, but actually it's going to accept an integer that's going to represent a microsecond. So you can say you sleep. And what this is going to be is a microsecond. So if we actually put in one here, it's not going to even be really visible. We can run it, we can compile it, and it's just going to be like before after because a microsecond is a very, very small unit of time. If I were to put here like five and then one, two, three, one, two, three, I put in, you know, six sixes after that. Now it's going to be an amount of time we can actually see. If we run it now, it's going to be five seconds now. And this is going to allow us to kind of sleep for a smaller amount of time with more granularity here, right? So I could say like, delete one of those zeros here, and now it's going to sleep for half a second, right? So if I run this here, it sleeps for half a second. And you can kind of see it, right? Just, just half a second. So you can say like, maybe instead of half a second, we'll say, you know, three quarters of a second. And we can run this here after we compile it. And we'll see it pauses now for like three quarters of a second. And so this is just sort of allowing us to sleep for smaller periods of time based on microseconds, which is a pretty small unit of time at that point. So that's the sleep functions in C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.